Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today I thought we'd bring you a little bit of information and I'm going to ask you to help add to that information in the comment section down below. I received a question from Cammie and she said, I have never canned anything. I've never canned or anything. Just how expensive is it to start this process? I have no idea where you even buy it. And I've actually been working towards this video for a little while, about a month or so ago, um, in our Facebook group, I asked a uh, question saying, hey, if you're outside of the U.S., where did you buy your canning supplies and your canner from? And so I received quite a few, quite a few uh, replies, and so hopefully this helps. And then I'll go through how much it costs to start where I'm at, okay? Um, and what I would love is to have all of you contribute in the comment section down below let me know what country you're in um, or what state. Okay, I don't need your mailing address, okay? What country or what state you're in. And let us know how much it costs you for a canner or for any of the other supplies that I mentioned, okay? But when I asked the question in our Facebook group, um, we have uh, Northern British Columbia, Canada, and her husband ordered it from Amazon. Um, Sven, who is part of our live chats all the time, he's in Norway. He stays up all night to come to our live chats. And Sven is in Norway, and he said um, that when he bought his, he got it from Layman's. Yeah, our, our Layman's, right? But um, that was before they stopped shipping to Norway. So I said, do you know where you would get one from today? And he said, Amazon. Um, David said that he purchased his uh, before it was a thing in Australia, right? And he got it off of eBay, um, but you can't do the, the Australian eBay. You have to do the U.S. eBay and find somebody who's willing to ship for, ship it for you, and then you have to, you know, pay that shipping. Um, Ontario, Canada, um, they got theirs from PV Mart, P-E-A-V-E-Y Mart, and um, another person in Australia said uh, they got their Presto from Aussie Mushroom Supplies. Um, let's see. We have British Columbia, Ontario, got it from Good to Go Co. And then Myrna got hers. I'm not sure where Myrna's from, though. So I'm not going to say. Okay. And then Alberta, Canada, got theirs from Home Hardware. Um, somebody else from Canada said Amazon. And then they ordered all their parts uh, directly from uh, they ordered extra parts directly and the shipping was astronomical, right? Um, let's see. Carla, who is one of our moderators, said that um, she's in Australia and she got an All-American and a Presto and the parts and accessories, jars and lids from Oz Farmer and Aussie Mushroom Supplies. Um, she also purchased her Presto from Oz Farmer, uh, just in case you were wondering. Okay, and then somebody else uh, Jen purchased, she's in Australia, she got hers from Oz Farmer, and if you want, if you want some sticker shock, my fellow United States citizens, go look up some of these stores and see what they're charging, okay? Um, Carrie is in Australia, and she got hers, uh, she got a Presto via Amazon, um, but it was back in the day. And then Meredith got hers. She's in British Columbia, and she got hers from Good to Go Co. And then Liz, my friend Liz, um, got hers from Amazon, but that was over 10 years ago. Um, she had a friend who was lucky enough to get a used one here in the UK. There's a Facebook site for safe pressure canning in the UK. Um, and as soon as anybody posts one on there, they're snatched up right away. Um, Melissa got one from eBay shipped from the USA. She has an All-American and a Granite, which was eBay quite a number of years ago. I'm not sure if it was imported to the UK. So she's in the UK, so she did eBay. Another Australian did Oz Farmer. Um, another Australian did Oz Farmer. Germany got theirs through eBay. And then Oz Farmer in New Zealand. They ordered it from Oz Farmer in Australia. They live in New Zealand. Um, and then Another Oz Farmer, another Oz Farmer, right? Oz Farmers seems to be one of the key places to go in Australia to get it. Um, Judith is in the UK, and she got hers from someplace called Love Jars, L-O-V-E-J-A-R-S. -E okay. 
Um, she says they have fabulous customer service, okay? Um, and then somebody else got theirs in Australia. And in Canada, they got someplace called Home Hardware and Canadian Tire. And then another Canadian got it from eBay, um, but they bought the canning supplies from Too Good To Go. Um, and then they get stuff from layman's in the in the u.s so those what do we hit we hit australia the uk germany norway so i'm wondering because i know i have my puerto ricans um where they get theirs uh shipped from or how they purchase theirs we have cubans that are here with our group um and i don't even know what other countries so we have all of these countries we even have sweden sweden is in the house so um, where do you get your canning supplies? I would love to know down below. Um, definitely put a comment there. I put together a spreadsheet. What? Yeah, she did. She did. She put together a spreadsheet. Um, because what I did, and I'll put links down below for all of these, okay? And I just searched out, okay, how much does this cost? And I have to get to the right. Um, there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you three different variables here, okay? So we have the 23-quart Presto Pressure Canner. We have the 23-quart Presto Pressure Induction Canner. And then we have a 21-quart All-American Canner. Those are the variables in these totals. These, these are the ones that make up the difference. So right here today, literally today, I did this, okay? 23-quart Presto is $122.85. I, that's the lowest price I've seen in a few years. Um, literally four years ago, you could snatch them up for 60 bucks brand new. So the price has doubled. Uh, and that's a nice low price because they were over 159 uh, the last time I looked. I was really happy to see that. If you're getting the induction version, it's 131.82. If you're getting a 21-quart 20, 21 All-American, it's $420. Yeah. I'm not dissing All-American, okay? Everybody has their reason for purchasing what they purchase. If you want to start pressure canning, start off with a Presto. Number one, it's a, a lot more affordable, okay? And they're a workhorse. They will last for a very, very long time if taken care of properly. Now, yes, an All-American is the Cadillac, okay? I don't need a Cadillac. I need a workhorse. I need somebody who's going to do the work for me. Um, yes, there are some caveats to that, so I'll put that in here. Um, there's going to be a link down below for a two-pack. These are the essentials strictly the essentials okay so you've got your canner now i highly recommend getting a two-pack uh pressure canner rack your canner typically comes with a rack but if you want to stack jars you need another rack and so here's a two-pack it goes for 15 bucks a weighted regulator for the prestos okay the all americans a different beast for the prestos this way you do not have to rely on the accuracy of your gauge you have the weighted regulator to tell you what's going on there. And that is running $19.14 right now. Um, you guys have seen it in my videos, my canning scoop. I use this ladle for everything. It is absolutely worth the investment. Um, it, it, it runs for $19.33 right now where I'm at, okay? Um, then there's a package of all these little things put together. It has a jar grabber. It has a canning funnel. It has the magnetic Pokem stabber. Um, I think it has the Pokem stabber. What it? What does she? What does she call it? The Pokey Joe that Mouse Toast talks about with the the graded thing to tell you the headspace. Um, it has a few different things in there, and that's twenty bucks. Okay, but it has all the little tools that make the job that much easier. Now, as always, I highly recommend the Complete Go Guide to Home Canning. The easy version of this is online. It is the National Center for Home Food Preservation. That link will be down below also. But for $8.75, I highly recommend the book, okay? Having that printed version where you can make notes in the margins, where you can correct things that get updated. Very, very important because if the electricity or the internet ever becomes a problem, you want that hard copy. You really, really do. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. I pulled together prices for jars based in my area, okay? So they're going to be different. And definitely in the comments section down below, Throw down how much jars are in your area, specifically pints and quarts, okay? That's that's all I care about, pints and quarts, because everything I just listed prior to this, they are the tools that are necessary to make this happen, okay? 
These are the tools that will get you canning. So that right there for the basic Presto is 200 bucks, okay? Now when you're looking at jars, don't go out and buy 400 jars all at once. If you're just starting out on this, you wanna start out slow. So what you need to figure out is, what is it that you wanna can? If you wanna can meat, typically a pound of meat goes for a pint jar, okay? The pint, the, a pint, a pound is a pint the world around or something like that. Anyway, it's, it's an average is what it is. So pint jars are great for meat. And that's really, I, I do pint jars for almost everything. So pint jars in my area right now at Walmart, and I picked Walmart because they're pretty much everywhere, you know what I mean, um, in the U.S. Uh, pint jars in the U.S. right now in, at Walmart are $10.59 for a 12-pack. Quart jars are $12.97. And I think that's a 12-pack. So you're averaging around a dollar a jar, okay, for brand new. Now, if you're just starting out, don't go out and buy 400 of them. But maybe pick up one box, two boxes, right? And then every week or every two weeks when you do your grocery shopping, stick another box in there. Get another box, stick it in there. Get another box, stick it in there. And then you can go and you can order lids, okay? The lids that come with them are perfectly fine and they're perfectly safe. So go ahead and do those. You're going to want to stock up on extra lids. So this is where it's a good idea to pay attention to what size mouth is on your jar, regular mouth or wide mouth. I personally don't have a preference. To me, a jar is a jar. But if you want to save some money on, on purchasing lids, get all of them the same mouth, okay? So get them all regular mouth or get them all wide mouth, and then you only have to worry about one kind of canning lid. Now, if you're like me, there are ways, there are times, it's not instantaneous, that you can pick up canning supplies for much, much less. If you go to yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, if you go on Craigslist, if you go on eBay, um, if you, you know, pay attention to Facebook Marketplace for your area, you can find canning supplies. You can randomly find canners. You can randomly find jars. And on average for a used jar, I will not go above 50 cents a jar because I don't know how old they are. I don't know what's going on. But you're going to want to take a look and make sure nobody's slipping you some old mayo jars. You know what I mean? You want to make sure that they are canning jars. Um, so it can be accumulated. It really, really can. And that is a huge money saver. I really don't buy new jars. Uh, I've bought one new canner in my entire life for me. I seem to do it annually for other people, but for myself, I've only ever bought one new canner and I have, I think I'm up to eight canners, okay? So when I find one, I'll pick it up. And the next All-American I pick up is for our buddy Jill, who's a pantry pal who lives not too far from me because she's been looking for an All-American canner. I don't need another one, but if I find another one, I will pick it up because I know how to finagle the deals out of them, okay? Um, I've gotten pretty proficient at this, and you can too. The worst they can say is no. Be willing to walk away from it. But if you're going to, if you go to a yard sale and you see an all-American canner for fifty or a hundred dollars, don't walk away from it. Check it out. Make sure it looks like it has all its parts, its pieces, its screws, all that stuff. Make sure the bottom's not warped, you know. And you're saving three hundred and twenty bucks. Um, if you see a Presto, fifty, seventy-five dollars. Make to sure it's not, make sure, look to make sure it's not warped, okay? Uh, make sure it has most of its parts and pieces because you can buy replacement parts and pieces. I'll put those links down below also. So it doesn't cost as much as you think it does. Now, I know that is totally a matter of perspective, okay? I get it. But I know that it is much cheaper to cook at home than it is to go out to eat, even if you're driving through fast food. So if you shave off expenses from those unnecessary expenditures, you can save up some money. And you can also look for stuff used. You really can. I know some people are going to say there's no way, no how. I've already squeezed a dollar out of a dime. I have no extra money. And I don't, I don't have an answer for that. I really don't. But I know that if you're just getting started and if you're not sure where you're looking, that hopefully these links and the information in this video will be helpful. And that average price point that I'm seeing in my area, I'm not saying this is everywhere, okay? 
might help you figure out where to go and how much you need to save and how you can start buying it now. You don't need to get it all at once. If you have 20 extra dollars, go get that kit with all the canning stuff. Another $20, go get that canning scoop, you know, and it you just dwindle it down. Um, if you can't afford it, get the canner first because it is the best price I've seen in quite a while. So the other thing that you have to think about is that unlike your car or any number of other things that you spend money on, this is an investment. These are tools. And any good mechanic will tell you that to do the work right, you need good proper tools, okay? And so sometimes that's gonna cost you a little extra money up front. But over the long run, you will save a whole bunch because all of that is reusable. All of that can be used many, many times. And over the course of time, you will save money and you will have that security that you're looking for as far as putting your food up and having that food security for you and your family. I can't stress enough how important I believe that this is, how necessary I think this is. I've said it many times, this is the best insurance that money can buy. And I know that when I'm going into some place, I'm going into something, I want to know how much I'm supposed to be spending, you know? And so hopefully this helps you to keep that kind of in line for where you are. If you are in Australia, if you are in New Zealand, if you are in Germany, if you are in Norway, you know, England, wherever, um, take time to go to the stores that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Um, look at them online. See what you can do. Figure out how much it would cost you to have this stuff shipped to you. I know it costs more. I wish it didn't, but I know that it does. So that's something that you will have to, to you know, work through on your end. But as far as for being here in the U.S., I've spent $200 on a lot of stupid stuff over my life, but this stuff here is going to make sure that me and mine are fed and kept safe for quite some time. So I hope that you take a look around. I hope this was helpful. Again, if you have any suggestions, if you're from a different country, or if I didn't mention a store that you know of in the countries that I did mention, Drop it in the comment section below. Let's make this a resource because you guys are amazing. You're from everywhere. You go places I don't go. And so we could use your help. Drop it in the comment section down below. Until next time, everybody, be safe.